It was on February 20th when Graves, pitchers, and catchers reported to West Palm Beach, Florida to start spring training. That was 237 days ago. Is this the last day of the 1992 season? We're going to find out in the next few minutes. The Pirates lead it 2-0. Espy stays in the game to play right. Stan Belinda, Bob Patterson in the Pirate bullpen. Terry Pendleton leads it off for Atlanta. This is it. Pendleton 0 for 3. Last time he hit the ball hard. A line drive to Bonds with a couple of men on. We saw Drabeck throw a few more fastballs last inning, especially to get the strikeouts on Sanders and Blauser. I doubt that Pendleton will see one to start this inning. Here we go. This is it, folks. Dray back into the wind and the pit. Curve strike call. 0-1 over the outside corner. Whatever happens in this ninth inning, you've got to tip your hat to Doug Brayback. He has pitched a great, great ball game. The 0-1 pitch. Here it is. Look out. Fastball high and tight. It's 1-1. One and one. Some of the crowd boos, but this is for all the marbles. This is what you expect in this kind of game. One ball, one strike. Everybody standing here. Pendleton out of the batter's box. Oh, the first man in the ninth inning, so important. Gray back into the wind is 1-1 one, one pitch. Here it is. Swan and drill. Deep right field. On the run is SP. Can't get it. It's in the corner. Pendleton on his way to second. Here's the throw. It's a double. The Atlanta Braves aren't dead yet. Pendleton hit a rifle shot into the right field corner to start the night. Drabeck started him with a curveball, busted him up and in with a fastball, tried to come back with another fastball. And Terry laced it into the corner. So here's David Justin. A long one ties it up. The Braves have got their shot, Skip. And don't forget, Justice went deep twice last night, once in the ninth inning. They put the shift on. Any ground ball to shortstop's a base hit. Pendleton gets a good size lead at second. The stretch. The pitch. Fastball. Strike called. Outside corner, 0 and 1. They nip the black with that fastball. 0-1 oh, the count. Sid Bream is on deck. Everybody on their feet here. Drayback gets the sign from Mike Lavalier. The stretch. The pitch. Curve hit hard on the ground. Lean. Loops it. Pendleton's at third. Justice is at third. The first mistake of the night. We'll see how they score it. The ball is hit hard, Skip, and Lee went to the backhand instead of trying to get in front of it. I don't know that he really had time to get in front of it. And it just squirted under the web of his glove and far enough away that Justice could reach. It is in air, and here's Sid Bream, and here comes Ray Miller. Well, you said the Braves had their chance. Now they've got their chance to not just tie the game, they've got a chance to win the game. But they also have a chance to lose it. It's 2-0 Pirates. That ball was hit hard by Justice, but it should have been an out. You got a guy at the plate who's been very tough in the clutch the second half of the season. He's got a double tonight already off Graybeck. We'll wait to see if he's going to get a chance to face him again. But you've also got the tying run at first base in the ninth inning of what could be the last game of the year. And you have to wonder if Bobby might try to move Justice into scoring position. Another factor in that is, yes, Sid can hit it out, but he doesn't run that well. And if he hits a ground ball, you've got to run him. But there are two out in the ninth, and Ron Gant is the last chance. So we'll see how they play it here. And he's not a bad runner. First and third, nobody out. The Braves giving him a finish here, or at least trying to. Crowd champ Sid, the stretch. 
Right back delivers into the dirt. Good play, Laval. Your ball, that would have been nice. A wild pitch in that spot. This place is up for grabs. The chop chop is going goofy here. There was no sign of a bunt from Green. They play him straight away and very deep. Graybeck was really trying to snap off a good curve and almost threw it away. The runners lead. Graybeck comes set. The 1-0 pitch. Here it is. High outside, 2-0. He tried a fastball and he missed badly with it. Breaking ball down and in, fastball away. You talked about Green not having that much speed. Drabeck doesn't care about Pendleton. He wants a double play, clear the sacks, two outs, get and, Gant, game over. And take your chances. The 2 0 pitch, a triple for Green to hit. Outside, ball three, missed for the fast one. A walk of four, the force puts the tie and run in scoring position. Three balls, no strike. He won't turn him loose here, will he? Why not? The stretch. The pin. Nowhere near. The bases are loaded. A double, an air, and a walk. And the bases are full of Ray. Green carries the winning run. And here's Ron Gant, who already has a grand slam in this series. How much longer can they go with Doug Graybeck? No longer. Here comes Jim Leland. And he's got Stan Belinda, the right-hander, in the bullpen. It's the second visit for the Pirate Brain Trust, so you know there's going to be a move, and that's it. Belinda gets the call. Uh, don't go away, folks. While the Pirates take time out to make a pitching change, we'll take this commercial time out on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. For the best traffic reports anytime, it's News Radio WGST every time. Stan Belinda's a big guy, 6'3, 200 pounder from State College, Pennsylvania. He was 6 and 4 this year, had 18 saves for the Pirates, but that was in 59 games, so he coughed a few up too. If he's a hard thrower, real hard sinker and slider, but it's his delivery that will give the most trouble to the Braves hitters, the right-handers especially. He comes from sidearm delivery, a three-quarter to sidearm delivery. Gant's going to have to stay locked in on him if he's going to make contact. Belinda gave up a game-tying homer in the bottom of the eighth year earlier this year to Terry Pendleton. Right back through 129 pitches, 83 of them strikes. Well, here we go. Bases loaded, nobody out. Gant waits. Belinda comes set. The pitch. Outside, a breaking ball, 1-0. and Damon Berryhill is on deck. Bob Patterson is in the bullpen. Mason gets up again for the Pirates. A runner at every base. The stretch. The 1-0 pitch. Swan fly ball left field. Bonds is back. On the track. At the wall. He's got it. Pendleton tags and scores. Justice has to stay at second. It's 2-1. And Gant missed by an eyelash getting it out of here. Justice took a couple of steps toward third, then scrambled back. I don't know if he could have made it or not. That wouldn't have been the play, Skip. You don't want to get thrown out trying to advance on a sacrifice fly. You want to score from second if the ball gets off the wall. He made the right play. He's still in scoring position. There's Damon Berryhill. He's doubled up the center field wall. He's bounced to second, and he's flied to left. And he's a catcher. And if you get the ground ball out of him, you can turn it over. But he's got the power to get a party going here in Atlanta. Two on, one out. Hunter has grabbed a bat and moved on deck. He would pinch hit for Rafael Bellier. Belinda comes set. Barry Hill waits the pitch. Curve fouled it back. It was a high breaking ball. He had a big swing, but he 
Fouled it to the screen, 0-1. Everybody standing here in the ballpark. Damon Berryhill's gotten a lot of clutch hit for the Braves this year. He really started driving the ball and picking up a lot more RBIs when he flattened his bat out and made that adjustment in his stance after the All-Star break. One more wouldn't hurt. Belinda gets the Lavalier sign. The stretch. The 0-1 pitch to Damon Berryhill. Low and inside. It's even now a ball and a strike. One of the hazards here for Justice at second base with this crowd noise, he can't hear Jimmy Williams. If Bell sneaks in behind him, he can't hear any help from Corrales or Williams. He's got to keep an eye on him himself. Of course, Merced plays behind the runner at first. The stretch. The 1-1 pitch. Here it is. Low, 2-1. Low and inside with a breaking ball. He didn't miss by much. These fans are in a frenzy here. A flare off the end of the bat, a broken bat flare out behind the infield is an automatic hit. The defensive outfield for the Pirates is extremely deep to protect against a deep uh, double. The stretch, the 2-1 pitch. Here it is. Low, ball three. Three and one to Barry Hill. A walk puts the tying run at third with one out. But he's in a position to send the Braves to the World Series, perhaps on this 3-1 pitch. The runners lead. Belinda gets the sign, the stretch. The left-hand hitter waits, the pitch. No, he walked him and the bases are loaded. Belinda thought he had a strike. So did LaValle. A single now could win the game. Brian Hunter is the batter. Pretty good pitch, boy. Pretty good pitch. But a good eye by Barry Hill. So the bases are loaded for Brian Hunter. Francisco Cabrera has grabbed a bat. He is on deck to hit for the pitcher. But Sid Green still at second base. Lopez, the only guy left on the bench after Hunter and Cabrera. And Ray Miller is on his way to the mound to talk with Belinda. Hunter is one out of four, a single in postseason play. And against Belinda, he's batted only once in his career and made out. If the Braves tie this game, looking ahead, I guess Ron Gant will be the second baseman, won't he? If you're going to have to change pitchers, why not? Who's the fastest pitcher runner? Send in maybe one of the pitchers to run for Green. They might be able to score on a single. Tom Glavin runs pretty well. Tom Glavin will be an excellent choice. You got Hunter up there hitting right now. He could stay in the game and play first if they only tie it. But I'm talking about a base hit winning it, and you'd want some speed out there. Glavin would be your guy. And something else about tying the game. Ron Gant does not want to come in and play second base in the seventh game of the playoff. So Hunter stands in there. Double play and the Pirates win. A base hit and the Braves might win. A long one. Forget about it. And they've got to turn the double play. They're playing back for two up the middle. The stretch. The pit. Curve hit foul past third to toe and one. Hunter got the big base hit when everything was sliding away out in San Diego late in the year to tie the game. A two-out, two-strike hit in the ninth. He doubled into the right field, rather into the left field corner. Bonds is camped on that left field line. The electricity in this place, unbelievable. Brian Hunter waits. Stan Belinda gets set. The 0-1 pitch. Here it is. Swung, lifting pop, fly, short center, leaned is there, and he's got it. So two are out, and it's all up to Frank Cabrera. So it all comes down to a guy who got some big hits for the Braves last year, but who has spent most of the year languishing in the minor leagues at Richmond. Francisco Cabrera is the batter. What a spot for him. Bases loaded, two out, and now it's all down to one man. He's basically a dead pole hitter, too, Skip. He's got very strong hands. 
likes to go out and get the ball and pull it, which really works for Belinda because of that sidearm delivery. He's going to try to keep the ball away from Cabrera. The runner's edge away. The big right-hand hitter wakes. The stretch. The pitch. Curve sweeps outside. A walk would tie it. One ball, no strike. Otis Nixon would be next. What a finish in the win. Belinda takes a little walk around. Cabrera has batted once against Belinda and had a home run against her. I'd take that. The 1-0 pitch. Here it is. High and outside. 2-0. So now Belinda's in terrible straits. He's got to throw a strike. Cabrera's in the driver's seat. And he's got the option right here to make sure that he looks for one pitch and one pitch only that he can drive. The 2-0 pitch about to be made. Here it is. Swung line drive down the left field line, curving foul into the seat. Oh, he hit the daylights out of that ball, but it hooked foul just above the pirate bullpen and Bonds would not have caught that one had it been hit fair it was a rifle shot to left field but he is playing him as a dead ball hitter he's very close to the line good swing by Cabrera two balls one strike what tension the runners lead a lot of room in right center if he hits one there we can dance in the streets the two run